in this example, all right, what we have is what they're trying us to do is we want to be able to determine what y and what x is. All right? So a lot of times we're going to look and we might assume that different parts of the triangle are going to be equal to different parts of the triangle. right? You, to me, obviously, this looks like A is congruent to D, C is congruent to F, and B is congruent to E. right? It kind of makes sense. It looks like it. However, we have to read the directions. Because I remember, just like when we talked about parallel lines, and just like I talked about right angles, do not assume things are equal to a measure, Camillo, or that you have parallel lines. And also, do not assume that certain parts are congruent to congruent, or congruent parts are equal on triangles. This triangle states, Mario, A, B, C is congruent to D, F, E. Notice how they do not go in the same directions. All right? So what that means is angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle F. And that's very, very important. All right? What you guys need to understand is this angle B is congruent to this angle F. So actually, this triangle has been switched around. I know it doesn't look like it's congruent, or you might say, oh, E has to be equal to B. No, that's not what the directions say. They says B is congruent to F. That means these two angles are equal in measure. All right. So if I want to figure out what Y is, don't set this equation equal to 36 because they're both in the right-hand lower um, uh, corner of the triangles. Does everybody see what the change is on this problem? Blake, got that? OK. So therefore, now I can set up an equation to solve for y. I can say 8y minus 5 equals 99. So now I add 5. I have um, 8y equals 104. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. We know that 8 goes into 80 10 times, leaving me with a remainder of 24. 8 goes into 24 3 times. So therefore, y equals 13. All right, now to find the value of x, we know that. Now let's go and look at this. So Fe is congruent to BC. OK? Fe, this line, Fe is congruent to BC. OK? So when you guys are trying to determine your congruent parts, look at how the triangle is labeled. Don't always just assume by looking at the picture. That's where they're going to try to trick you, and that's where you're going to make the mistake. So if Fe is congruent to BC, then I can say that 2y plus x is equal. Oh, sorry, let's write it down like this. Fe is congruent to BC. So therefore, I can say 2y plus x is congruent to 14. Now, we know what y is, though, correct? So we got y. So I can now say 2 times 13 plus x. Well, 2 times 13 is going to uh, equals this. Now I'm just going to solve them. I'm not going to use congruency. I'm just going to use the equal sign to solve. So 2 times 13 is going to be 26 plus x equals 14 minus 26 minus 26 x equals negative 2. OK, so that means the value of x is going to be negative 2 to solve. Any questions? No?